Nearly every family in the world is touched by cancer, which is now responsible for almost one in six deaths globally. Today, many cases of cancer are diagnosed too late. This means they are harder to treat successfully. So let's know more about cancer with our Dr. Sanjay Rai. Hi, I am Dr. Sanjay Rai, currently working as Chief of Oncology Services at Sarda Hospital. I will be talking about cancer. Cancer, as we know, is a very dreadful disease, affects around 8.4 million population every year. And uh, in 2022, it, it is projected that around 22 million population will be affected by cancer. And what happens in cancer? There are some cells in our body, normal cells, they become altered. There are some genetic alterations and they start dividing rapidly in number and they, they don't die. So ultimately when they grow in sufficient number, they form a big swelling or lump and that is called tumor. If that tumor has a tendency to spread to other parts of the body, that is called cancer. If a tumor does not spread, that is called a benign tumor. There are various causes of cancer. Most important is tobacco habit. Use of tobacco either in the form of smoking, inhalational or chewing has got a strong association with cancer. Like if you chew tobacco, there is a high chance of head and neck region cancer. Tobacco smoking produces cancer of lung, lung pancreas, carcinoma cervix and even bladder also. Our diet habit is another factor what can cause cancer. A diet rich in fats is an important risk factor. Our lifestyle habits, sedentary lifestyle habits also is a risk factor for cancer. There are hereditary factors, less than 5% cancers, they are associated with uh, hereditary diseases like genetic alterations and overall the, there are some cancers in which there is a strong association with infections like hepatitis C and hepatitis B causes liver cancer and Epstein-Barr virus causes lymphoma. Cervix cancer is associated with human papilloma virus. Our environment also has got some risk factors like ultraviolet lights, they can produce skin cancer. Use of radiation can produce various type of cancers like sarcomas. In environment, there are some chemicals like benzidine, aniline dye, they can produce bladder cancer. Asbestos in cement that can produce mesothelioma and lung cancers. So these are common etiological factors. A person presenting with a swelling which is growing slowly can be a cancer that uh, 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 another symptoms of maybe recurrent infections or prolonged bleeding which may be related to blood cancer. So these are common symptoms of presentation of a cancer patient. Various treatment options for cancer are surgery, radiotherapy and medical treatment. In medical treatment if you see there are uh, four kinds of treatment like chemotherapy, hormone therapy, immunotherapy and biological therapy. These four kinds of therapies are wonderful in the sense that patient don't have to go for surgery or radiotherapy and how we decide therapy depends on stage of the cancer. Stage 1 and 2 generally surgery and radiotherapy is a good option. In stage 3 and 4 chemotherapy or medical therapies are given. So this is the treatment option for cancer. At Sarda Hospital, we have a fantastic chemotherapy daycare center where all kinds of medical therapies are given on outpatient basis after uh, use of catheters for chemotherapy. And we have a good surgical oncology team of doctors specialized in various areas of 
treatment like head neck cancer separate unit, GI cancers we have separate unit, thoracic cancers we have separate specialist and for bone and soft tissue sarcomas we have different specialist. We are in the process of acquiring uh, linear accelerators for radiotherapy and we are still in process of developing our bone marrow transplant center.